They say you're going to travel the world, join the Navy. 70% of the world's water. Anybody can launch a missile in the air, but to make the missile accurate, that's what makes us elite. An ETV on submarines, we are the combination of three different rates. IC men, which work with interior communications. We are ETs, which work with electronic technicians. And we are also QM, which is quartermasters. So as the quartermaster, it is your job to maintain the ship's safety underwater. Based on our speed, based on our depth, we can know exactly what's gonna be safe, where we're gonna go. Surface electronics navigation is all 2D. You can see where you're going, you're on the surface. As far as submarines go, it's more of a 3D picture of how to navigate. VMS operating system, radar system, periscopes, strategic navigation system, all the systems that tell us where we are in the water, we're responsible for. I'm a ETR. We do communications on and off the boat. The electronics radio rate, they're in charge of receiving messages, communications, tasking, email, anything that would have to do with communications on or off the ship. So on submarines, we use sound-powered phones. In the event of a casualty or a fire or anything, we don't rely on electrical power for our phone communications. So this is ESM. It stands for Electronic Surveillance Measures Suite. It's for safety ship, first and foremost. We also use it for counter detection. Radars that are meant to find us. And that way, we can tell if we're gonna come into a collision with another boat. What makes a good ETV on board a submarine is someone with a lot of integrity. You have to be able to be trusted to do your job because in the middle of the night, you're gonna be the only one that's paying attention to the safe navigation of the ship.